Good morning, Johnson Learning Leopards. Today is Thursday, December 8th. Please join me in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for the moment of silence on level zero. All right, everybody, happy Thursday. We do not have any birthdays today, but we do have some leopard leaders to share about. Like, dun, dun, dun. hold on, I'm looking on my spreadsheet. There we go, first Thursday from Miss Begin's class, Sadakat Mashwani. His love of learning can be seen with how he is actively engaged in class. Sadakat raises his hand and is excited to share with the class. He always perseveres through any challenge and tries his best. Sadakat's excitement for learning is contagious and he makes our class more fun. From Ms. Hicks' class, Isabella Bowman is a wonderful leopard leader. She engages and tries her best when completing her independent work and during fluency time. Isabella is quick to help others and is thoughtful in her work. Keep it up, Isabella. We are proud of you. And that's all we've got for today. All right, uh, please join me in reciting the Johnson Code of Conduct. As a Johnson learning leopard, I come to learn. I promise to roar by being respectful, open-minded, actively engaged, and responsible. I will always try my best. All right, news you can use. Okay, it's pretend to be a time traveler day. So I guess that's what it sounds like. You pretend like you're traveling in time today. Um, and it's also National Brownie Day, which is another one of my favorite desserts. So I had to look it up. So here's the legend around the creation of the brownie as a dessert. So it all started with the Palmer family in the 1890s. So they were this really rich family and the husband owned this really famous hotel in Chicago. So his wife is having a, some kind of special lunch with her friends or whatever. So she asks the hotel baker, because of course her husband, husband owns the hotel. So she asks the hotel baker to make a dessert that was like a cake, but a little bit smaller and one that you could fit into a boxed lunch, because I guess they were having lunch somewhere else, they had to carry their lunch. So the result was the Palmer House Hotel Brownie, which was made of chocolate. It had some walnuts mixed into it, and it was covered with an apricot glaze, which is interesting. I've never had that kind of brownie, but I do love brownies, and today is National Brownie Day. All right, our joke of the day comes, I love this one, comes from Calvin Howard in Miss Rickabaugh's class. What do you call a fish with no eyes? What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. Get it? It doesn't have an eye in it. A fish has a short eye in it, but without the short eye, it's just fish. So fish is the answer. Calvin, awesome, very clever. And y'all, that is all I have for today. I hope you have a thrilling Thursday and think about how you can roar today here at Johnson. We love you so much. Have an awesome, 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 awesome Thursday.